Welcome back to this section of family practice called Focus on Community Resource. And our community resource this tonight is Prevent Child Abuse Kentucky. And my next guest is, let me make sure I get it right, Jill C. Fred. Correct. And you are yes. the executive director, correct? Yes. Well, now, this is the first I've really kind of heard of Prevent Child Abuse. Tell me what you do. We are a statewide prevention organization. So any of the viewers who are interested in learning more, if they um, have a, a uh, their place of worship would like a training, their place of business would like to be trained, we come in and train on all sorts of things, recognizing, reporting, pediatric abusive head trauma. Um, if you are engaged in you know summer camps or youth camps, making sure that the participants are in a safe environment. Now you mentioned training and, and I think at, at some point in time you, when we were talking you used the word awareness. How as I as a lay person would recognize child abuse? Or what would make me concerned like could this be happening? Well first of all we want to make sure that everybody errs on the side of making sure that kids are safe. So it's really not up to us to make sure that a report is substantiated. But if you see a child who has bruises, or if you see children who are consistently left alone, um, Kentucky doesn't have a, a standard law or a stated law, an age whereby children can be safe if they're left alone. But you know, sometimes our gut just kind of tells us, hey, I've seen those kids next door, they're alone by themselves a lot. Or if you see children who don't have the proper food, clothing, or medical attention, we encourage everybody to, to reach out and make sure that those kids are safe. And when you see those things, uh, it's not necessarily child abuse, but it may be that the child is unsafe, they need some help, and it, there's nothing wrong with it, exploring it to make sure that child is safe. That's right. That's right. Um, we always say that it's the adult's responsibility to keep kids safe. And sometimes, you know, maybe it's just a, a, a one-time incident, but wouldn't you rather make sure that that child is safe rather than taking a chance? So you, you can call and make a report, uh, 1-888-KENTUCKY-SAFE-1. Uh, you can do so anonymously, and uh, we just want to make sure that those kids are safe. You also have some training for parents. We do. We have uh, parent education groups across the state. Um, here within the central Kentucky viewing area, we have several parent education groups. Just give us a call or log on to our website, and we will get that information to anybody who's interested. And how, if, if people wanted to help, do you have volunteers? How can, how can people help? Uh... We have volunteers. Um, Child Abuse Prevention Month is coming up in April, and that's uh, the, the time of year. Of course, we, we want everybody to be involved, to be involved year round, but especially during April, which is Child Abuse Pre Prevention Month. Um, uh, April 7th is Wear Blue Day. We've got stickers, contact us, free stickers, wear blue, whether or not you're a UK fan or not, we still want folks to wear blue. Uh, we've got a run walk that's coming up on April 15th out at the Horse Park. We'd love to have folks there. And then we always need volunteers. We always need in-kind supplies, uh, diapers, office supplies, anything that, that folks would like to donate. Now you mentioned too when we were talking before that new moms, is that is that a high risk time or is it sometimes new moms just to get exhausted and, and need some help? Well, uh, a, a little bit of both. We, we know that younger parents and parents who are isolated in terms of not having family or friends as supports are more inclined to perhaps lash out at their children and not know um, some of the developmental stages, for instance, gosh, you know, my one-year-old, why isn't he walking, talking, and potty trained? Well, you, you know, you as a family doc know that that's, mm -hmm. that's not quite the way it goes. Thanks for